My name is Shana Montaneri and I'm currently a Newton International Fellow at the University of Edinburgh. Um, I'm a research fellow, so this is like a postdoc position, and I am a paleontologist slash kind of comparative biologist. I don't just focus on fossils in general. I like to tie in fossils to modern day and see how we can look at how changes in biodiversity and changes in environment kind of change over time in general and how that might be applied to, to now to understand how our kind of changing world might look. Day to day, it can be quite different. Um, sometimes I'm in the lab, so if I'm collecting data, I look at the chemical composition in bones and teeth and eggshells and hair in different parts of animals to see how that reflects the environments that they live in and the diets that they have. From my perspective, communicating science, and, and that's doing social good, at least in my field, because it's kind of promoting awareness about natural resources, natural history, conservation, um, and that all this data we've been generating can be can be useful. I like to, you know, maybe figure out how to the ways to tell people like what we're doing using all this data. Like, you know, what is the most common dinosaur that you find in a museum collection or something like that. And that's something that people, the general public, is interested in. And I can, you know, if I use, know data science methods, I can figure out how to extract that information and kind of disseminate it to the public. I like that I could ask questions, you know, right off the bat. I mean, you said, oh, you can see this, you know, watch this lecture online. So what's the difference? Well, I think that you can actually talk to the instructors and talk to your classmates and see what other people are doing with big data. And also, like I had a question about my own data set, I could ask that. I can't do that to a computer, you know, if I'm just taking a course online. I think five days, it, you know, it might not seem like enough to the outsider, like, oh, how could I do that? But I think, I mean, for me, I think it, I don't use a ton of math in my work and I don't, do a lot of programming either and I just you know I kind of used R to do some basic stats and now I've figured out all these different ways that I can I can use it just in five days. Yeah I would definitely recommend this bootcamp to nonprofit professionals just because there's again so much underutilized data out there in those fields that just having a couple people in, in an organization or one person knowing about that even just being aware of it like if they go back and they can do it maybe do a little bit more themselves but if they know then maybe what to ask a consultant to do or someone to help them or like get hire someone new to help them even push it further at least they'll have an idea what to ask for yeah i think for a nonprofit it would be super you know be incredibly useful to have this um, this boot camp